Well, I'm, my name's Bill Howard, and I was, saw all these fishing poles laying around the flea park that wasn't being sold, and and I thought they should be put to use. So I started making them up for my um, and grandkids and all their friends and everyone I knew, and I still saw the poles uh, being uh, showing up every weekend at the flea market and no one's buying them. So I thought about what could be done to keep them from getting thrown in the dump. So I just started uh, collecting them and I, since I had about 40 or 50 uh, poles and I decided to give them away. And uh, it's been working out pretty good. We're up to about 60 poles and so far we haven't turned it, had to turn any kids away. There's a wasp nest, but I have some of this two days that adults or anyone could go out without a license. So we figured the parents can come out and be with their kids and, and help them. And some of them are learning themselves. They've never been fishing, the parents. But, but we show them how to rig their poles. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and You're she says she can rig his pole, so. Okay. I'll give you a yeah, those little guys, they go for the bright colored poles. They and uh, that's, it's uh, not just getting them to fish in, to get them to appreciate, uh, you don't have to throw things away. That there's life in, uh, you know, it's a form of recycling. Uh, maybe your worm might have came off. Real a little bit, just a little bit. I've been fishing all my life. When I was a kid, I would have loved to have one of these poles. I used to go to town and just look in the hardware store and drool <laughs> when I was about eight years old. But you made your own. I would have given anything for one of those new poles. When you see the bobber go like this, that means that that fish is down there and he's nibbling on that bait. Well, it it seems to me that uh, kids may lack something to do they might get bored you know and uh, they play video games but some of them might wind up joining gangs if they didn't have anything else to do and we try to get them hooked on fishing and that uh, works out pretty good if they can catch something the first time out it'll keep, it'll keep them coming back well I think it that if we let them take the pole home, they're more likely to get to go fishing again. If uh, they have their own pole, it's, it'd be harder for the father or mother to turn them down if they say, Daddy, I got my own pole, let's go. <laughs> That's what I, I was thinking. Stick your foot in it down there. Uh-oh, you got the tongue in there. You're not going to get it all. Where's your daddy? And if they get uh, three or four out of a year hooked on fishing, maybe change their life. Maybe they'll go a different direction. There it is. It's tongue. What? Oh, the tongue is all the way down. Let me see if I can get a hold of it.